The Cadiz Groundwater Conservation Recovery and Storage Project is located in the Mojave Desert in San Bernardino County in the southeastern corner of California. The story starts in the Providence in New York Mountains, among the highest in the region. After storms, water from rain and melting snow seeps down through rocks and soil. Slowly, the water flows into the groundwater system of the Fenner, Bristol, and Cuddy's Valleys. As the water follows its natural downhill course, it moves underground through the project area at Cadiz. From Cadiz, the groundwater naturally flows to Bristol and Cadiz dry lakes where it evaporates through the surface. The Cadiz project will conserve this groundwater and put it to beneficial use in Southern California. There is over 20 million acre feet of groundwater here. Where the groundwater beneath the dry lakes evaporates, it leaves behind salts and minerals, forming brine as shown here in red. At this point, the water can no longer be used for drinking. Without the project, two million acre feet of fresh water will be lost through this evaporation process over the next 100 years. That's a half trillion gallons. The project would build wells that connect to a pipeline to the Colorado River Aqueduct. The pipeline would be buried along an existing railroad right-of-way to minimize disturbance to the desert. The wells will pump the groundwater. At first, the wells will pull nearby groundwater up, but most groundwater will continue to flow down to the dry lakes. The blue arrows show groundwater being pulled back up to the wells. The red arrows show groundwater flowing down to the dry lakes. The black and yellow striped bars show the dividing line where water splits between flowing back to the wells or down to the dry lakes. Over time, this dividing line moves closer to the dry lakes as more fresh water is pulled away from the dry lakes. This process changes the direction of water flow, reversing its downhill course. This is called a hydraulic barrier and it allows the project to conserve water before it reaches the brine. An average of 50,000 acre feet of water will be delivered to customers each year. This is less than 1% of the water in the watershed and every year more water comes in through rain and snow that follows this path. This is called recharge. The Cadiz project will be permitted for 50 years. A comprehensive groundwater monitoring, mitigation, and management plan will ensure that the project does not harm the desert environment. The plan would be enforced by the County of San Bernardino. Once the project's hydraulic barrier is established, it creates space in the aquifer and the opportunity to store imported water as a second phase. If pumping stops, groundwater will again flow to the dry lakes and be lost to evaporation.